Yeah, um, my truck. The final moments of CIVT Television Vancouver's analog transmitter. In 1940, the National Television Systems Committee was established in the United States, and in March of 1941, a broadcasting standard dubbed NTSC was developed and was quickly adopted as the standard for a new broadcasting medium called television. Through the decades, television technology has changed dramatically, but the NTSC standard has remained untouched for over 60 years. If you're a Canadian who has an analog television set hooked up to an antenna, then you've probably been seeing a lot of static on your TV since the 1st of September. That's because the NTSC standard of broadcasting has just been replaced by digital TV. Since the 1990s, the days of analog over-the-air television have been numbered. The Advanced Television Systems Committee first convened in 1982 to begin to establish standards for digital television. Now, over 20 years after the idea of digital TV was first thrown around, it has become a reality for most of North America place. Analog television is going away in three, two, one. We are now in digital. Back in June of 2009, the United States finished converting all of its television stations from analog to digital. For months, American TV viewers were bombarded with advertisements, public service announcements, and, as the transition date approached, ticker tape on all affected TV channels. The billion dollar education campaign helped a little bit. But there were still many hundreds of phone calls to the FCC immediately after the switch from many viewers wondering where their TV channels had gone. Back home in Canada, the digital transition has received far less coverage. In the final weeks leading up to the digital transition, there were some newspaper articles, public service announcements, and a few television reports. But in a country where the TV stations are largely owned by cable companies, it is not surprising that the conversion to DTV was played down. So what does this transition to digital mean for the end user, for the television consumer, if you will? Well, it turns out the upgrade is actually quite simple. Most high-definition television sets are manufactured with built-in digital tuners. This means that you just need to plug your antenna into the coaxial input of your HDTV to begin enjoying crystal clear, high-definition broadcasts for free. However, if you still have an older CRT television set, then you don't need to throw it out, Digital to analog converter boxes, which are installed between your antenna and your TV, can be purchased for about $70. Crystal clear, high definition TV for free? If this conversion leaves you asking why, the answer is actually quite simple. Analog television broadcasts take up about 6 MHz of space on the radio spectrum. With that 6 MHz required by just one television channel, it is possible to fit over 200 25 kHz two-way radio conversations. Digital transmissions take up far less space than their analog counterparts, and the CRTC is planning on auctioning off some of that newly vacated space to cellular telephone services and wireless internet companies. In short, the conversion to DTV is a great money-making opportunity for Canada's television and radio regulator. If you're watching this video and have recently lost your analog over-the-air television service, then don't despair. There are things that you can do to continue to receive free television well into the future. If you want to know how you can receive free, high-definition television over the air, then head on over to the digital forum at digitalhome.ca forum for more information. For INET, this is Christopher, reporting.